you're not just putting together something to make noise, you're, you're creating life. My passion right now is singing. I do a lot of uh, varieties of cultural singing. I travel to powwows. I do the ceremonial type singing and also round dance singing. One of my art skills that I would say is drum making. I do both the uh, hand drum making, the round dance portion, and the uh, big drum for powwows. Someone that shaped me growing up, I would say is our lead singer for Midnight Express, Opie Day. Um, he's taught me a lot about what it means to be a lead singer, what it means to lead a group of people, and he, he's taught me a lot of different songs, different variety of, you know, what's appropriate to sing, when, and um, that's just the, the powwow and the round dance portion of it, but I learned a lot from my uncles, I learned a lot from my dad. I always have relatives that are there to teach me and to you know, correct me if I'm doing something wrong. It's not just one person that I learned from. It's not just, you know, my own family that I learned from. I've learned from so many singers down the line, whether it be powwows, round dances, or ceremonies, there's always someone there that has taught me. My first project, I made uh, my own drum, a uh, big drum for powwows with my little brothers. We started this group a long time ago for our community. We called ourselves Battling Scout. We only had just this little drum that we used to practice on that was given to us by uh, one of our uncles. But we decided that we needed our own drum and that we needed our own name and that we needed kind of our own materials to practice, to go out with and to be recognized with. So we put together our own drum. We went and we got all the materials and. We got the hide, and we got the shell, and we brought it back to the house, and we all cut up the circles together, and we all cut out the straps, and we all put it together ourselves. One of the things I was taught growing up, when you're putting together a drum, when you're putting together a hand drum or a big drum, you're, you're not just putting together something to make noise, you're, you're creating life. In our culture, it's, it's that belief that every drum has a, a grandfather in it, has a spirit in it, you know, so when you're creating this life, you don't want to put bad energy, you don't want to put bad thoughts in these drums and, you know, you, you really want to stay clear-minded. So when you're, when you're making these drums and you're, when you're making sacred items, you're, you pray. That's, that's what I was taught. When you put these things together, you pray, you keep your head happy, you keep your mind clear. This is important to our culture because we're losing so many of our ways and we're losing so many of our traditions that uh, the celebratory style of powwowing and round dancing uh, kind of catches the eye of the younger generation and it really opens the door for them. Like from my experience when I was younger and I saw a couple of my idols on the powwow trail, I saw a couple of my idols as singers, um, I wanted to be like them and it really help open that door for me to be a singer. And when I started singing, I found out there was more to go along with just singing other than powwows and round dances. There was a ceremony part to it. There's protocols, there's uh, ways we're supposed to do things. And that's the part of it that I didn't know growing up that I later found out from a couple of my older brothers, my uncles, my dad, and they taught me the ways of our people and how these things are supposed to be used. So I think it's really important that we learn these things, you know, catch their eye with the, the fun part of it and then teach them the basics and how things are supposed to be done the right way. This is our way of life. This is how we hold, our, hold ourselves. This is how we uh, live. You know, when uh, I was growing up, my dad always told me that the regalia that you wear I was a grass dancer and the regalia that you wear, the feathers that you have is a representation of your, your life and how you're living. You, you keep your feathers clean, you keep your regalia together, you know, it resembles how, how you carry yourself in life.